Welcome back to another Send 10 10 minute mini workouts that you can piece together to create your own day or just use them to supplement what you're already doing for the day. Today, just an easy yoga stretch sequence. If you have props, feel free to have them handy. You're gonna start in a down dog position. So just start at one end of your mat and either walk your hands back or your feet forward. And just take a few moments to just settle in, pedal out through the feet if you wanna be turned in or turned out. Just giving that whole breath into the body and time to just settle in. All right, so let's narrow the stance a little bit. Press the heels through the floor and really get those calves to stretch out. Then lift your right leg up high behind you. Keep the left heel dropping. There's a tendency to lift it up, but it can be a super good stretch. Bend the knee, open the hip of the top leg, and then draw the right shin underneath for you for pigeon. Now, if you haven't done anything yet today, this might feel a little tight. You can certainly prop up on a blanket underneath that right hip if you want. You can come down onto the forearms. But do your best to keep your posture still attentive and awake in terms of the spine, so not collapsing the head, neck, and shoulders, but really feeling enlivened in the spine. Breathe directly in and directly out. Do a scan. Maybe start from the crown and move all the way down to the toes. Make sure you're not tensing up anything. Notice your habits and your patterns. Let's take three more breaths here. I'll try and be a little bit more quiet in this practice so you can settle in and not make so many micro adjustments. From here, I'm going to have you walk your hands back up underneath you. Tuck the back toes and come back into that three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, open the hip behind you. Drop the left heel. Step your right foot wide to the outside of your right hand. Drop your back knee down to the floor and release the top of the foot. Down onto the forearms if you can or want. Let that right knee drop open. Focus right now on the outer right hip. and the breath. Still alert and attentive in the posture. And then walk the hands back up underneath you. Keep the legs except bring that sole of the right foot firmly down to the floor. Take the right arm and reach it back. Emphasis on that left hip flexor stretch or to amplify, bend the back knee and find the back foot. So instead of taking this into a back bend, just draw the heel in towards you. So switch the grip as needed so that the focus is on that quad. The right heel can and should stay on the mat adjust to your stance in that forward leg to ensure that you're not torquing the knee. Allowing yourself the time to just soak it in. Last breath, you'll gently release that back foot. Toe heel your right foot toward the middle of the mat. Both hands to the floor, lift the back knee, hop it forward just a few inches, straighten both legs, and then adjust into a pyramid pose, folding over both legs. Square the hips, play around with putting a little bit more weight into that forward leg, backwards leg. See where you get the best stretch. So. Traditionally, the hips would stay relatively square here, but feel free to find what gives you the best stretch today. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then all I want you to do is adjust, pivot your toes toward the long end of your mat. Maybe adjust your stance a little bit 
and then allow your body to just hang into a forward fold here. Then bend the knees a little bit from side to side and you're gonna find a little inner thigh stretch. As you bend the right knee, focus on the left inner thigh, left knee, the right inner thigh, and just shake out the head, neck, and shoulders for a few breaths. Find the middle. And now we're gonna reverse out of that. So walk your hands toward the left foot and we're gonna start in pyramid pose. So adjust the stance, forward fold over your left leg now. Again, you can play a little bit around with how much weight each foot has and then find the place that gives you the best stretch that you can enjoy and relax into, no tension. One more breath here. Reach the crown of the head through the floor in front of you. So really long. Then bend the front knee as you slide the back foot to the back of your mat. Toe heel your left foot out and plant the palms for a moment. Take your left arm up, so reversing. So we're going in the backwards pattern. So you're gonna start with that bent knee, finding the foot and then settling in. The left foot should stay planted onto the mat. One more breath, slow release, both hands to the inside, and then you stay up or you can come down to forearms. If you want, you can let that inner edge of that left foot lift up off the mat. So you're just rolled to the pinky toe edge. As you emphasize now, stretch in the hip. You guys prop as needed. Take two more breaths here. Lock your hands up underneath you. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Left leg goes up and back, opening up through the hip. Drop the right heel. And then pigeon on side two. Draw that shin underneath you. Props and forearms if you like. Again, head to toe scan, notice your habits, the physical ones, the emotional ones, the thought patterns. And do your best to just set it aside. Those are all external things really, just go to the core. The simplicity of the breath. and the enjoyment of the day. Last breath here, walk your hands back up underneath you, tuck the back toes, lift up, three-legged dog, bend that left knee, open that hip once again, drop the right heel, extend that leg down to the floor, downward facing dog and then either walk the hands back to the feet or the feet back to the hands. Nice deep forward fold, soft bend in the knees. 
and ragdoll, roll your way up. Coming all the way up to stand, ready to greet the rest of your day. Thanks for playing. Hope you had a great time.